I'm Mrs. Nelson, and today I want to show you the new and improved number web. Now, you may have seen a different number web on my YouTube channel or that your teacher has shared with you, and this new sheet has some fun little twists to it. So I'm going to show you this today. So the idea of a number web is that we can take any number, a whole number, a fraction, a decimal, and we can express it in many, many different ways. And I want you to challenge yourself to see how many different ways you can express a number. So your teacher or someone might give you a number to put in the middle. Today, we're going to do 24 as the example. And then you'll notice around the circle with the number, there are some lines. There's five solid lines. And at the ends of those lines, You'll see the key down here. Those are for you to write your own ideas of how you can express 24. And then the dotted lines are for you to talk to a friend or a partner or somebody at your table and get three more ideas for a different way to express 24. In this case, it says ideas from others. So we're going to go ahead and do our own solid lines first. And I'm going to start. Let's see. I want to do 24. I'm going to start with the good old expanded form. 20 plus 4. And that's all I need to write. I don't need an equal sign. This is just an expression, which means another way to say 24. I might use my knowledge of multiplication to write 6 times 4 over here because I know that's 24. I do like multiplication and I like this form. So I'm going to take this one, 20 plus 4, and I'm going to write it out as a multiplication expression. I'm going to say 10 times 2, because I know that's 20, and I can add 4 to that. What else can I do? Oh, I can do subtraction, so I'll start with 100 just for fun. And let's see, 100 minus 76 would be 24, and I need one more of my own. I'm kind of running out of ideas. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use my knowledge of 100 minus 76, and I'm going to shift everything down the number line 1. So if 100 minus 76 is 24, that must mean that 99 minus 75 is also 24. So now I've come up with 5 of my own. And now it's time for me to go see some friends. And my friends, remember, have the same sheet that I do. And so they're going to be looking for ideas from me. And I'm going to have some ideas to share with them. So I might go up to one friend and see what they have on their paper. And, oh, wouldn't you know it, one of my friends has this down, 12 plus 12. I hadn't even thought of that. 24 is a double. So I'm going to take that idea from that friend. And I might go to another friend. And you know what? I'm very impressed because this friend has decided to double 24 to 48 and then split it in two. 48 divided by 2 is 24. I still need one more. So I'm going to go to my last partner at the table. And this partner, I'm very impressed, has remembered that fractions can add up to whole numbers as well. And this partner has written down 23 and 1 half plus one half gets us to 24. That was tricky and it looks pretty impressive. So this is how I would do a basic number web. Remember, five of them are my own and three come from friends of mine. Now, your teacher can get a little bit creative here and teachers, if you're listening, don't be afraid to get creative. After a while, your teacher might start giving you some challenges down here. Let me show you what one of those might be. What? This teacher has said I may not use addition on this number web. Oh my goodness, friends, what am I going to do? Well, this teacher has given me the number 17. And now I have to come up with five ways to show 17 without using addition. Let's see if I can do it. Oh no, I was trying to be creative and use multiplication and I have addition there. That's okay. 
I'll cross it out. Let's see if I can do this again without addition. And then I have to go to three friends and see if they remember to not use addition. This is a great way to check my friend's work as well. Let's see what I got from my friend. My same friend that shared fractions with me on the first one shared this one. 17 and a half minus that one half is 17. Good job, friend. I appreciate that. Let's see what else. And this last friend knew that any number over 1 as a denominator is itself. 17 over 1 is the same as 17. So good job, friends. This is a way to do the number web if your teacher gives you a challenge. Teachers, if you look on some of the PDFs that come with this, you will see some other challenge suggestions. And friends, I hope you have fun filling out your number webs.